Hi everyone, my name is Emma. Um, I'm here to talk about a topic that's really close to my family and my heart and something that has been very controversial in the media for the past 20 years or so and something that um, people really advocate for on both sides, whether that be pro or con. Um, but I like to put my input on my side of the pros of um, this specific topic. So I'm going to ask you all to think about uh, a news headline that you see, not so often, but um, there's been, say, a dog attack. I want your mind to picture the scene, picture the type of dog, um, and what that may be. So maybe in the 70s that would have been a Doberman type breed, or maybe in the 80s or 90s it would have been a Rottweiler type breed. But now today I think everybody's minds go straight to um, a pit bull, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on today, is the pit bull breed, and um, really all the stigma around it, and what people really think is truly bad about them, and um, how that could be misunderstood, and um, ways around this, or ways to maybe get your mind out of um, seeing them in that light, so... Um, yeah, the media has really hyped this up for the past, I'd say, 30 years, and it has gotten a lot of attention, whether that be truthful and everything's um, well-documented, because I know in every type of media or any type of um, news story, there could be, it could be untrue, and not all the time, it's not all the time untrue, but um, a lot of the time you get the fake news kind of kind of story, which I hate saying because I wish all media was true and I wish that everyone could be truthful about all topics, but it's, that's just not the case. Um, so I think this is really a misunderstood breed, and I think that um, the history and like everything around it contributes to this. So now more than ever, I think people are either um, on either side of the spectrum, so either you're pro-banning pit bulls and you want them to be out of society and um, in hopes that all these dog attacks won't happen anymore, which I'll get to that later, um, but the sad truth to that is it's not true. Um, or you have the people who are part of the American Pitbull Society and really speak out for these dogs um, because they, they really can't talk for themselves and a lot of the times it's not their fault for how they're perceived. So um, a lot of people are actually re trying to rebrand the dog and make it more as a family dog. Um, one person that, um, as I was doing my research on this, Caesar Milan, he's actually the dog whisperer, so some may say, um, he's actually a huge advocate for them and it's his job to be around dogs and it's his job to train them and take care of them and he supports them. and. The amount of time that that man has spent with however many breeds of dogs, it's it says something for him to really step out and talk for these dogs when um, they really don't have anyone to talk for them. Um, and some another interesting fact is that in World War One, the pit bulls were actually a symbol for um, American strength. So I think um, that's not always aggression. So I think people need to celebrate that symbol of our country and that, like, where we've come from and, um, what we make up. Uh, another thing about pit bulls is they make up most of the dogs in all of the shelters, so, um, when my dog passed away two years ago, she was a pug breed, um, we actually went to the shelter and was searching for another small dog and, um, something that, my parents could easily take care of, and we fell in love with a pit bull. So, um, yeah, we were walking through the shelter, and there was just rows and rows of pit bulls, and a lot of people don't even like to see those dogs or interact with them, but um, it's something we need to be aware of, and I think it's something that people need to be more educated on. Um, so, like any breed, there's pros and cons to, like, to the breeds, so... For my last breed of dog, we had a pug, and she had uh, major health issues, and which ultimately ultimately led to um, 
why she passed away. So, um, there are pros and cons of every breed, whether that be big, small dogs, um, because that's just how they are. Like, like people, they, they're just like people. Um, some, some cons about pit bulls and specifically is that, um, there is this huge stigma around them and that they're aggressive and, um, that they're going to attack everything they see. And that's not true. It's really, um, I think it's about educating the owner so that they can educate their dog. So that means, um, training them, like having them well socialized, being able to care for them completely, keeping them healthy, making sure they're getting enough exercise, making sure they're well fed, um, giving them love. That's, I think that's the biggest thing is, um, loving them and making sure that they feel part of the family just as any dog should, um, you know, but, um, another thing that is, might be hard for some people to take care of and they need to take these into consideration uh, before getting a dog is how strong these dogs are. Um, I'd say like any golden retriever or um, German Shepherd, a dog of its size is going to be strong. Like if they weigh that much, they're going to be, be able to pull you around and they're going to be able to do things with you. So I think you need to be aware of your family situation, your health specifically, and um, your strength and how you're going to be able to cope with a large dog. So I think if you um, you really can't take care of a large dog, you should get a small dog. Um, another thing about these breeds, which I really love, but um, it can be a negative, is that they're strong-willed. So they will really, like, um, go after something. Or, like, when when my pit bull wants to go outside, she, she nudges at the door and she won't give up until she goes outside. But you really, this goes into... Um, being a good owner and being smart about it is you have to train your dog to kind of be able to like let them know that you're the boss and even when they're being strong-willed you have to tell them no sometimes and you can't really let your dog control you so that's another big thing um although there's these cons there's these great pros of these dogs um in my experience i know there's this huge stigma around them but they're great with children like my pit bull when my little cousins come around, they love cuddling up with them, and they love um, playing with her and everything about that. So I really think that they're great with children. I think um, there are some dogs in shelters that have gone through a lot and that um, need to be around older people and can't really handle a small child maybe coming at them and pulling on them and this and that. So um, it depends on the dog, definitely, but I they're definitely great with children in my eyes. Um, another thing is they're eager, eager to learn. So when you're training them, um, they really want to learn. They, they get excited about it, and they, they really listen, and they love to do that kind of thing. Um, so not that they're easy to train, but um, it's fun to train them. I, I've taught my dog many tricks, and she's always eager to learn them. So um, Another great thing about them is they're, they're so loyal and um, so, like, if you're excited about something as their owner, they're also going to be excited because they're so loyal to you, and they, they want to be by your side and do everything. Um, so that's something great about them and something that I love about them. Now, there's these statistics and myths on um, the pit bull ban, which I'm not going to go into deeply, but, um, so myths about them is that they lock their jaws and they're very aggressive and they're a bully breed and all these negative things but um I think we, you really need to step back and look at dog per dog basis because there are smaller dogs like chihuahuas and pomeranians and this and that who are aggressive and um do need training just as some pit bulls do you know like there's there's always going to be dogs that are aggressive but it's it shouldn't be a blanket term over all pit bulls that every single one of them is aggressive. I think you need to look at them individually and really assess that. Um, so I'm negative banning pit bulls. I think they make a great contribution to society and I think they make a lot of people happy and are a great breed of dog. Um, my biggest thing is just 
knowing your pros and cons, being able to take care of a dog if you're going to get one, being sm a smart owner and being educated and being able to um, educate other people because that's the biggest thing and um, sh sharing your truth just as I have. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my uh, speech today. Thank you.